welcome, welcome back to Texas Motor Speedway. As uh, looks like Payne Beasley is gonna go for the lead here. He needs, and he takes it. Yeah, and it looks, so let's see how, uh, the, the fours right now in six, is right now in 16th, which, which was Michael's pick. My pick, uh, my pick, uh, the number, uh, the number 11 is right, is in third, but he's about to drop it back into fourth as there's Grayson Acabeto, and the 88 has taken a race lead. Julio Caesar was so close to winning at Auto Club. But 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 ended up facing seconds, uh, unfortunately. And he and he's not and he's currently outside the chase cut line for for what I know so far. And as of right now, I have I have I have not still fixed the point standing, so you probably won't see the point standings of this race either. Which is why I'm probably thinking of doing this, uh, redoing uh, season one, to, uh, due to uh, like um, like kind of like math errors or something like that, um, or uh, just uh, just plain old just re just looking at, at back at previous races in general. As uh, Julio Caesar just lost the lead, wasn't paying attention there. But we have Grayson Ackbetter leading this lap, but Payne Beasley is going to retake the race lead. And this race has been cautionless. Six point three wide back there. Yeah, we'll see what's going on in the back. There's, uh, there's some battles with, with Caleb Hoffman and, uh, and uh, Aiden Shepard in the 99 and 14, not respectively. And more reverse, respectively, if you know what I'm trying to say. Well, here's Daniel Voiles. Daniel Voiles is in the top. Is in the top. Is in the top 30. Not in the best, but but still. Looks like uh, the other guy. Um. Looks like the. Um, uh, I just, uh, I need to just trying to get back there. But anyway, it looks like the 11 is, is now a race leader. With only, like, uh, 11 laps to go. Who's your, who's your pick, who's your pick as of right now? Uh, as of right now, I'm gonna say the 5 car, cause he seems to have had the best car all day. Yeah. I'm thinking of the 16, cause he's right there, right next, right to Josh Marzak's bumper. And he might get into this chase. Okay, like, trying to uh, get back up uh, where the leaders are. Anyway, it looks like the 16. I hope I didn't jinx it though. <laughs> but it looks like he's not quite there yet. The 7 actually kind of pushed him up to lead. And it, that was with 10 laps to go, by the way. As here we go, 9 laps left. And here comes the 16 with the help of the 5. Wow, the car is able to win this race. Alright. Here comes the number 5 of Devin Cook. The 5. Holding on. And it looks like they're even right now. Car wise. But it looks like the number 5 is taking the race lead. And he's driving Terry Labonte's car. And Terry Labonte is from Texas. So that's kind of convenient. In a way I guess. The 16 car is not done yet, and neither is the 11 or the 7. It, it looks like the 66 is able to get into the to top, might get, get a top 10 finish, don't you think? Uh, Daniel? I uh, no, no, not Daniel. A uh, Michael. Yeah, he's doing pretty good. And the 5 is uh, dominating this race, but here comes the 16 coming back at it again, but it might not be quite uh, enough to take the lead on this lap. 
But he's probably going to take the lead sooner or later because there's plenty of laps left in the race for him to make his move. But there's, but here goes the 11. Can 11 um make make you give make a last last minute pass for the lead? 11 still in contention. As oh, looks like the the 16 is going for it again, but not quite yet again. As the 11's on the outside, still on the outside. As it's going to be close, Peyton. Here we go. Look, now we're going to keep an eye on uh, Devin Cook from here on out. I think. So Devin Cook is right now leader of this race, and um, and the number of. Uh, 16 um um looks like he is still in contention for this race he's, and he has plenty of laps to make his move and if there's a caution right now this race will actually end under caution but the 16 is gonna take the lead and if a caution would happen now he he would probably end up winning this race isn't that right? There goes the five. That's the five. Looks like the five catch. Oh, it looks like Sir Renz is. It looks like he's gonna be in last. Is right now in last place. Typical Sir Renz luck. Am I right, guys? And as there goes the five. The five is just falling back. What happened to the five? He's just probably just the just the typical uh, NR two thousand two slash two thousand three AI uh, movement. And NR2002 is the closest thing to NR2003. Actually, that's two laps to go. Payne Beasley can't Payne Beasley hold off off the 11. What do you think, uh, Mike? I think it's going to be down to the last lap. All You're right. not going to know until it's finished. Alright, here we go. White flag. Here we go. Uh, coming off the corners before the final lap. White flag is gonna wave this time by. Final lap at Texas. Can be Peyton Beasley hold on to the race? Let's see who's gonna get it. Peyton Beasley doing pretty good. Uh, can will the 11 make the move or will the 50 win from starting from the pole? I don't think the 50 is gonna get it. I don't know. Oh, fifth, a big tiny bit of contact there, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. Peyton Beasley is going to win here at Texas. All right. Peyton Beasley. How about that, folks? That was a very... Not a lot of, No cautions, but it was a pretty entertaining race up at the front. Yeah, looks like uh, Lisa Gonzalez uh, got sixth position um, in, in on her first start. How about that? Oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, where did the other rookie? The other rookie, fin uh, Daniel Foyles, actually finished uh, 28th. So, uh, so, so the 60 finished uh, finished behind uh, Lisa. So, so Lisa was the highest finishing rookie in this race, pretty much. As uh, there's your official race standing, so you can see uh, who's there, where you finished here. And Stuart Bratton looks like he's going to come in home in last place. So, that's just, uh, so, so anyways, Payne, so, anyway, so, um, so, next race will be at, um, Talladega, and, and so, so I guess you could say the Super Speedway Madness continues, but, it, oh, I think Arca breaks are kind of going on here. I'm not too sure, but the paint you can see the paint the cars the pace cars headlights are flashing. But anyway, so next race will be at Talladega, and uh, we'll see you guys later.